and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And before we get into this video, I mean, you guys have probably three other videos of mine to watch today, but for the most part, I'm probably gonna be talking about an album. So, Super Bowl last night. As you guys heard in my yesterday video, I did predict the Chiefs to win, and they did win. Not that that was any hard prediction. 49ers definitely, I thought they had it for a second, but the Chiefs did prevail and come back on that one. I, I was in shock. I sat right up in my chair, and I was ready to watch the rest of that. By the end of the third, I was kind of like, eh, about it. Like, I thought it was kind of over. And then I was hoping that he could make that one last drive, and then they started coming back. But it was, it was super cool to watch. Definitely one of the best Super Bowls I've watched in a while. But... The most important part as a Madden player for us guys is that we do get that 99 Mahomes as you guys probably heard in my earlier video as well as those predictor solos and a lot of other things that will be coming along with that as well as potentially a part three today which at this point if it did come out you probably saw it. But guys the Madden market has been affected by all the Super Bowl stuff as well as the Mahomes 99 MVP as well which has not out by the way yet but it's gonna come out and also because of the Mahomes everyone was scrambling for power of Mahomes yesterday and they were scrambling for his zero chill card and they were scrambling for a superstar card people were buying things for crazy expense i already bought my mahomes in case so that i could be ready for it so my coins are down a little bit because i did buy quite a few cards yesterday but guys before we get into this video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that noting bell boys come join the family comment down below what you guys thought of the super bowl did you like it was it your favorite one in a while i think so no patriots good score close game it was it was a great super bowl for me and then also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 300 likes? You guys have been going crazy lately with the likes. I will get to the giveaway winner probably tomorrow. I saw you guys didn't hit the like goal, but I'll still probably pick it. But I'll probably do that tomorrow because I'm a little busy right now. But that's pretty much it. Let's get into this video. Now, heading on over, guys, to the auction house right here. The Mahomes cards were going for crazy expensive yesterday. I just want to show you guys that real quick to show you guys what they went, what they came from, what they went to afterwards. They're still up in price, but they're definitely not as expensive as they were yesterday. So, pretty much when Mahomes, when we were towards like the halftime and they were losing, Mahomes was pretty cheap. And then once people had an idea that Mahomes might win the Super Bowl and get the MVP card, he skyrocketed. So Mahomes power up was selling for 57k yesterday. He came quite a bit. He crashed already since yesterday. Mahomes basically, I actually didn't even bother to check when I was looking at it. Let's see, his superstar card, 300k. That card was going for 400k yesterday. And his zero chill card, was well, Ghost of Madden card, was going for 415k. He was going for 340, right? Like 320-ish. I bought him for like 320. And then, right when they announced he was Super Bowl MVP, because people thought Damian Williams was going to get it because that last touchdown. Right when he announced it, he went from 320, 330, all the way up to 430k. And I was really happy I got one. But he did come back down, of course. So, it is what it is. I got it for, that, I guess, the regular price. I didn't really get much of a discount at that point. But... So you guys know for all you guys who were part of the Mahomes fight uh, fiasco yesterday, I'm trying to scramble to see if we can get him. Definitely was uh, interesting. I don't know if I'm actually going to power him up. I just bought it just in case because I do kind of want that Lamar Jackson, but I have to see the Mahomes stats first, right? Because it's going to be a 99 overall card. going to be super insane. So I definitely got to see this card before I knock it or before I decide I'm going to get Lamar. Also, Lamar might be super expensive, so I might just keep Mahomes anyways. It really kind of just depends. And by the way, guys, they will be getting times two cam if you guys didn't know on the uh, Chiefs card. So if you're doing a Chiefs team team, that can definitely help. So I started the 90 overalls over here and work our way up because obviously cards are getting so much cheaper as it goes on that things just don't really matter as much in terms of should we check the lower, lower cards. I'm at even budget teams are probably in this range. So 50K for the 90 overalls, about average, nothing too cheap there. Let's go over. I know that some of the top pieces did come down in price. Now, I don't know why the exact reason is, but obviously as super promo wanes on we keep getting bigger bigger overall players things have to come down by default just because of the nature of them now legends no longer going to be the cheapest cards to search up anyways that's what i'm trying to show you guys because of the fact that legends are over we're going to be getting ultimate legends soon though so they'll probably replace them as that 93 overall kawan alexander 115 okay let's try the let's try the past one see if we can see any cheaper price. yeah 82k for 92 honestly guys 92s are super cheap at this point a lot of things are super cheap a budget team nowadays definitely definitely gonna have to make an upgrade to my budget beast list because last time i did it these cards were not this cheap i could definitely toss in a lot of low 90s in there now now here's where here's where things started to really come down so the 94s these cards were all above 200k a few days ago and they're starting to finally fall below 200k now some of these nfl 100 guys have sat it for a while devin hester took a pretty big crash by the way for all you guys wondering a lot of cards kind of crash Devin Hester took a crash because Tyreek Hill came out, who's literally just a better Tyler, Devin Hester in every facet, if you guys can check out right here. Uh, Tyreek Hill is way faster. 
he can jump way better he can catch way better he can catch in traffic way better way better spec catch way better short route running way better medium route running and way better deep route running he pretty much is just like devin hester's father there's really no comparison there and then a lot of these super bowl cards will start dipping pretty soon once super bowl pro is out of the out of the mindset because these past cards were not great at all besides the masters a lot of the set pieces for the past were not great the present ones were pretty good now team of the year they will start coming down right after this week a little more than they already have because if you think about it team of, these team of the year ones the lower 95s they're decent and with the nfl honors series 5 and everything coming out they'll crash more the upper ones won't crash as much only because they're really good cards and they're still very very useful cards so if we move on over to the 96 97s guys like these right here will pretty much they'll hold more value but they're still coming down as you can see aaron donald's already taking a hit in price as we come on down here i want to show you that aaron donald is at 425 i just saw him at 410 a few minutes ago and it'll probably be in the 380 range pretty soon and that's pretty cool because he was close to 500k a few days ago now russell wilson will probably hold value for a little bit longer once mahomes comes out and then once lamar comes out russell wilson might be at like 320 because russell wilson does not compare compared to mahomes right mahomes is gonna have probably the same speed if not better with 99 throw power probably close to 99 throw short like 95 throw mid close to 99 throw deep probably 95 throw under pressure probably close to 99 throw on the run he's gonna be way better than this uh russell wilson card and he's gonna be a little bit taller stronger arm so he's gonna kill him and then until he's gonna be a better version of russell wilson and then lebron to mention lamar jackson to be the best mobile quarterback so if you wanted a mobile quarterback you're going lamar if you wanted a mobile passer like strictly a passer that can also be mobile which is a russell wilson you want to go mahomes so that's gonna kind of kill their value now jamal adams guys another guy that's gonna start crashing soon so just be ready for that because mahomes i mean jamal adams he's really amazing right now because he's the best strong safety in madden probably but the new pat tillman will be coming out soon i believe i believe we'll be getting upgrades for him and his next upgrade should take us all the way to like a 98 99 potentially so his next upgrade is gonna make him faster probably similar if not better excel 99 tackle better play rec better pursuit still gonna be less man probably better zone and similar hit power so you're pretty much gonna get a faster version of jamal adams with better tackling better play rec better pursuit similar if not better zone and the similar hit power so they're gonna be still similar cards but literally jamal adams price is purely based off him being like the best strong safety so if he's no longer the best strong safety he should come down a little bit and then these lower cards will naturally crash on their own because they're really not all that useful so theme teams are probably the only thing really keeping some of these guys up right now and training value of course so beyond that don't expect much more out of them now let's head on over to some of these super bowl present or actually yeah, present cards super bowl present cards so starting off with the 96s right here we got raheem master now remember some of the chiefs cards do get double chems so some of them might actually open value a little bit once that takes place so they're going to get double chiefs chems for winning the super bowl as you guys can see right here i'll show it to you it says super bowl here if the chiefs win the super bowl this item will receive times two chiefs chems so these cards are going to be really super important for uh chiefs team teams as well as guys if you do the nat set right if you do the nat set and you get three of them and you start all three of them and then you get tyree kill that's four of them and then you get mahomes you could potentially get almost the 10 times they all have times two if not more from Mahomes. you could potentially end up with almost 10 times uh chiefs chem just by having those uh, four players on the field so then if you just toss some chiefs backups on your team you could literally get the speed boost from Mahomes, tyreek and all of them pretty easily if you just toss some backups on for having 25 out of 50 if that still applies so just letting you guys know that's a pretty easy little cheat sheet around uh workaround to get the chiefs chems especially if they all get times two uh Sherman's not gonna hold value for much longer i really don't think so it's all it takes to like gilmore's gonna come out be the best cornerback in the game then series five maybe we got like a cornerback series master and then we have the team mvps which can be more cornerbacks like a Darius slay type sherman's only decent right now because he's the master that's the only thing hold. His, his value is pretty much held up by the master i played him a few times already he's really good if you throw near him but other than that he, he just too much separation that could be created off of him especially since people don't really press as much a lot of people have Deion sanders so they really can't press both their cornerbacks so they have to press one and people are too lazy to actually do that and it's, you know it's kind of hard to do just even set up in that amount of time tyree kill a whole value for quite a while he's not gonna go down below 500k for a little bit even maybe max 480 just because of the pure speed even if and the thing with him is that people might think like oh like people are gonna catch up in speed which is true but this year they actually gave him some pretty decent other stats powered up and chemed up he is all above 90 catching 99 deep route running like he can run routes he can he has abilities he can do a lot of things he's gonna be very useful i'll probably have him on my team all year even as a slot type receiver or even just as a, as a speedy deep guy him tory holt and i'll probably max it with like randy moss or calvin johnson whichever new receiver comes out i've been my receivers for the rest of the year more than likely tory holt tyreek and calvin or randy moss that's it that's that's for the most part it so i'm content with him gonna have human joystick 
has return man he's pretty much everything i need and he's kind of tiny i'm not gonna lie guys i like my speedy receivers to be kind of tiny like when you have randy moss being that tall like i feel like he gets tackled easier tyree kill just has a way better in and out of lane ability as well as the agility he has like it's gonna be hard not many wide receivers are gonna have his stats even if they are that fast they might not have that agility that excel that juke that spin it's gonna be tough guys so in my opinion he won't crash too much but you can rock with these guys that pretty much covers up this market talk i covered what i want to talk about for the most part as far as my homes guys he is worth powering up but it comes down to would you rather him or lamar jackson but at the end of the day right if you get my homes for free because you did the bundle already is, is it worth spending a million coins on lamar i mean it's up to you guys i might maybe wait till it comes down to price before i pick him up maybe rock with my homes for now definitely got to try out the homes at least right we'll probably get a gameplay with him depending on my schedule the day of the when he comes out we gotta wait for that obviously but that is better for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel guys we're super close to 20k we're about a thousand two hundred away so let's keep growing gold by the end of february i think we're gonna smash by that and like i said can we get 300 likes in this video comment down below how you feel the super bowl went and what you're doing with the market right now i'm out see you guys in the next video peace